consider the following formula. Which of the following statements is true for this formula? To solve this question, we're going to need to graph. But before we graph, we'll have to label our axes in terms of A and B. Normally, our x-axis is our cause effect, uh, or excuse me, is our cause that will affect our y-axis. So if we take a look at our answer choices, we can see that the language says when B, then A. When B, then A. So in this case, B is our cause variable, which makes it our x-axis, and A is our effect variable, which makes it our y-axis. Now we can find our intercepts, but there's one more thing I'm going to recommend you do before you do that, and that is to simplify this uh, equation down to get rid of all of these decimals. So 0 0.25 is the same as a quarter. So if you have four of those quarters, you have a whole dollar, right? So we can take 0 0.25 B. And if we multiply four to that, then we will have a whole. But we have to do that to everything in the entire equation to keep things balanced. So we're going to multiply four to A, and we're also going to multiply four to 4.5. So four times A will give us four A. Let me actually give myself some more room here. 4a equals uh, one whole b, so one b, and then four times four will give us 16. Four times 0.5 or a half will give us two. So what's two plus 16? That would be 18. So now we've got an expression that's all whole numbers, which will just make our life a little bit easier. Now we can find our x-intercept, which is when y equals zero, or when, excuse me, when a equals zero. So 4 times 0 instead of 4 times a equals 1b plus 18. 4 times 0 will just give us 0 equals 1b plus 18. Then we'll need to do opposite operations and subtract 18 from both sides, which will give us negative 18 equals b. Right, because that 1 uh, doesn't really have to be there all the time. We, we assume that if it exists, there's always one of them. So negative 18 is equal to b, or the coordinate point negative uh, 18 comma 0. Now let's find our y-intercept, or when x equals 0, in this case when b equals 0. So I'll have 4a equals 1b, excuse me, 1 times 0 plus 18. 1 times 0 will give us 0, so this will cancel out, leaving us with 4a equals 18. 4 is being multiplied to a, so let's do the opposite and divide both sides by 4. And if you'll remember, we had to multiply 4.5 times 4 to get 18. So if we divide 18 by 4, we're just going to get 4.5 again. So our next coordinate point to plot will be 0, 4.5. Here I've plotted our two intercepts, negative 18, 0. I went to the left 18, up 0. Then negative 4, or excuse me, 0, negative 4.5. I went up 4.5 and to the right 0. So now, let's take a look at our answer choices. A says when the value of b is greater than negative 18, which would be here, a is negative. Well, if we go to the right, which would be greater than this value, all of our a values are positive, not negative, making a incorrect. B says when the value of b is lower than negative 18, so the other way, a is positive. That's not true because everything less than or lower than negative 18 has negative a values, not positive ones. C says when the value of b is greater than negative 9, which would be about here, greater than negative 9, a is positive. If we look greater than this, all of these values are positive. They're all above the x-axis, and they will continue to extend into positive infinity. So this is a true statement, making C our correct answer. But let's take a look at why D is incorrect. When the value of B is lower than negative 9, A is negative. That's not true because of this stretch of values right here. This stretch of values is positive A values, then it descends into negative a values. So the a values are not negative the whole time, which makes d incorrect and makes c our correct answer.